Like, we talking stack, we talking max, we talking matrix, we talking NOE, like Yeah. You you was like a you were A and R, bro. Like do you feel like that? Like Jim was Jim the A and R, man. Not the A and R, I just know what good music sound like. And I was already I was already in my groove. So I knew what I needed to add to my sound or make my sound even even better and just looking for the right artist to compliment that and it kinda just kinda like fell on my lap at a, and you know, shit. But when you met Stack at like you were home nigga, Stack from Fog Rock, like how did y'all I just watched Stacks just watching them. Watching them on um what was it was MySpace or whatever at the time. Yeah. Smack DVDs. He oh, just smack. started doing on the freestyles, yeah. and he had did the one freestyle. I know you love the dip set. Yeah. I'm like I know you don't love oh, me man. to the 50 nice. joint. I was like, wow, that kid is dope. And I asked somebody to um, bring him to the studio one day. I mean, he was still signed to Desert Storm, but I was asking like, yo, what you doing with Desert Storm? He like Clue got me kind of like on pause right now. Them my niggas and shit like that. So I was just did some mobster shit. Yeah. Well, that, like, you did, like, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna bird gang it? Yeah. I was like, ain't no desert storming. You just bird <laughs> right, gang. Bird, yeah. Well, what do you think? He, that, and that's what he did. He what just, do you think about it was about you that kind of made him wanna fuck with that? Cause at the time I heard Bino say some shit like, Hov and them was interested. Everybody was kind of. Well, like, I don't know who was interested in him. I just know that I thought the kid was fly. He had a great attitude, charismatic. He could dress good. Um, he put me in mind of myself a little bit. Plus, he could rap his ass off and shit like that. And yeah. for me, I knew that if he put if he put the right support around him, that the kid could blow. And that's what was on, on my mind and shit like that. And yeah. I knew at that time that he wasn't getting the opportunity that he should have and shit like that. And I was like, well, let me see if uh, he want to play some ball and shit like that. And he damn sure did. How crazy you think shit would have been if it didn't go the way it, it went? I couldn't even tell you how crazy it is. I know that I, I know that I believe in my heart that stacks probably is better than ninety eight point percent of the rappers, ninety eight point nine percent of these rappers out here when it comes to doing music, and that's actual factual. And he didn't get a chance to show people anything as yet when it came to music. His music that everybody heard was just raw and untapped music right. for him just coming out of him his circumstances. He didn't get the chance to sit down in these studios and get with some of the dopest Ooh, producers it. Yeah. and mix with some of the best artists to make some of the craziest music. He was doing that shit just because he loved to. Right. He'd wake up and make six, seven records a day, literally. He'd go work, do music in Queens, and then after Queens, he'd come to the studio and do music Some in the studio times. with me. Yeah. Like, he was a workaholic when it came to that music. Vicious. Right. Vicious. So, I mean, I know I, I heard on, um, you know, it's the real podcast, obviously, they said, you know, Cole came to you trying to, trying to you know, fuck with you. And like I said, it's just... Well, it wasn't like, you know, when people say Cole, they think of Cole and this... This how, Cole, right? No, Cole yeah. was a young college kid, what, 18, 19 when he came to me? Right. Was a shy, humble kid. Couldn't even look at me in the face and shit like that. A young yeah. kid, but could rap his ass off. Yeah. And he came there through somebody else that was doing business with me that had managed him at the time. And the kid used to do videos for me. And he was like, yo, I got this good kid that be rapping and shit like that. His it's name J. Kid. Cole. Right. Let me bring the him up here. You did? He yeah. was, And he bring him up to the studio and yeah. Cole would rap damn near like every day like nah this nigga is <laughs> ill but right. Drake just started popping at that time at that time when I'm thinking about Aaron on and the music I want to hear it was a music of reflection where we was living yeah. and a reflection from where we was from and Cole wasn't that reflection right you dig? Like, he was more of a Kanye, college kid, college dropout type of shit. That was on Drake, the of that. grassy yeah. type of shit. Like, right. he still is. Like, he's not... You dig? Like, he's a kid that was saying, Mama, I'm going to be the biggest rapper in the world and get you out of the hood. We was the kid that said, we need to get some cracks so we can hustle to get some new sneakers and, and, right. and, and do what we need to do inside the hood to better ourselves. Yeah. You dig? Like, yeah. we didn't worry about our talents till we got older. And then we think, like, maybe this rap shit could work yeah. while we selling crack. Right. You did? Yeah. He's like, I'm going to college. I'm going to do it. Like, it's two different lanes. lanes. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I come from the heart of New York City. I don't know where you come from. Down south, North Carolina, yeah. some shit like that. Yeah. Way different ball game. Right. You did? Two different aspirations when you wake up in the morning. What you see out his window, what you saw out my window, totally different. Yeah. You understand? So that was reflected in his music, and I couldn't hear what reflected in my music. Right. You, you, you did? I could, it, could, it didn't move me in the way that I wanted to be moved. But he was head. dead, dead nasty. Yeah. Drake. You respected it. Hold on, let's get to Drake. Yeah, let's talk about it. I could have signed Drake also. What? What you... 100%. No, no bullshit. No 100%. Drake was trying to sign the Koch. Mm. Allen played, Allen played this white kid mm. on the on the joint. Yeah. 
wrapped his ass on. Yeah. Show me who he is. He's like, he's from Canada. I'm like, Alan, you can't be can't serious. Be, right, right. Who, like, you can't be. I don't know what to do with him, Alan. I'm looking at the kid. He's like, he's an actor, too. Yeah. I'm like, I don't, I like, I like, he nice. I don't know what, I don't know what this is, though. Look at his look. Right, <laughs> right. 100%. You can ask yeah. Alan Grumbler from Koch. Like, nigga, Facts. sometimes you just don't know. 